Hello, dear YouTubers, this is Gino Arc. Um, yeah, all the glory unto Jesus Christ. Jesus wants to talk to you about why do you lose your passion for Jesus Christ? If you look at the Bible, everybody's passionate about you know, their work unto the Lord. And we must be also the same way. If you want God to use you, then you have to be passionate about Jesus Christ. Without passion, there can you cannot nobody can succeed anything. If you look at the business, those who passionately seek to find the answers and to, to promote their business, they're the ones who succeed. In the same same way, in the kingdom of God, those who passionately do the work for God, and those who are really crazy about Jesus, they're the ones who really do the work for God. And they're the ones who glorify His name and establish His kingdom on earth. And this goes for everything. God will not use a lukewarm, he will spit you out because you're lukewarm. You're neither hot or cold, and because you're you're in the world and you're you're in the in in, in the Lord, he say he'll spit you out because you're not hot for Jesus Christ. You're not passion for Jesus Christ. If you look at who Jesus used as his disciples mightily was Peter and Paul. Remember, Peter he was a man. Of, he was a fisherman. And he was toiling all night to catch a fish. Think about it. Who toils all night long to catch fish? And even when, when the daytime and Jesus asked him, have you caught fish? And Jesus asked him to throw it under his side. He did it. You know why? Because Peter was determined to catch fish. And because he, he couldn't catch it, he didn't give up. He kept them going. Even when somebody told him, oh, throw it under the he threw it there. Because he was, he, he was determined to catch fish. Paul. Paul was a sinner. Paul was a, a Christian persecutor. He persecuted Christians. He went place to place looking for Christians. And, and when he saw them, he captured them. And then he sent them to jail, tortured them, and do everything evil. But he was passionate about his work. That's why God showed up on him in a vision. And blinded his eyes. And, he, and Jesus came to him personally and said, you know, I am Jesus. Why are you persecuting me? And, and Jesus used Paul because Paul was a man who was on passion, who had a passion about his work. If you're not passionate about Jesus, if you lose the fervency for Jesus Christ, then you, you cannot be used by God. Jesus will use a truthful, a heart who has a real love for Jesus. John, John was a person who loved Jesus a lot. John was even found in Jesus' bosom, lying on Jesus' bosom. That's how much he loved Jesus. And Jesus loved him dearly. And John was used mightily to write the revelations and to write all the Gospels of John. If, if you want to be used for God, you have to have love and passion. You can be a sinner. Yes, you can be a sinner. But when Jesus, <clears throat> Jesus starts using you, you, you don't have to leave all those sins behind. And you'll have to give all your things to Jesus and be passionate and sold out 100% to Jesus if you want to be a servant and disciple worthy of pleasing Jesus. Those who have faith can please Jesus. Faith requires endurance. And this endurance must come from love. This endurance, this, this going forward without stopping needs to come from love because you have to have passion for Jesus. If you do not have a passion for Jesus, you're, you're not alive. You're dead. Lukewarms, God don't like. God spits out. Are you a lukewarm? Or are you a passion, passionate person? If you're a passionate person, throw all those passions away and follow what is really worth it because all those things will make you thirsty again. But if you keep on drinking the water that flows from the Holy Spirit of God, and as you're seeking the Lord, as you're, as you're passionately finding, finding the truth of God, you will be able to glorify Him and you won't, be, you won't be thirsting for other things because those things you have to keep on eating, you have to keep on drinking, you have to keep on doing to, to, to have pleasure. But once you drink the Holy Spirit, there is something that so far greater that you'll realize, wow, this is so amazing. What have I been wasting time doing, playing games, being on the internet for nothing, wasting all this time away? when you could have done something for the kingdom of God and you, your, your rewards would have been great in heaven.
What are you doing today? Are you deciding to go play, uh, do, do something else today? And, and waste all your time, waste all your precious time? Or are you passionate to save every minute of your life? To use it for the kingdom of God, which, which will determine your eternity. There is no rehearsal. There is no rehearsal in life. This is, this is a stage set for life. And there is no practice. Every minute is a reality. And every minute worth, every, every time, every, everything that you have is worth worth it and it's, it's not it's, it cannot be wasted because this, this life cannot be returned you cannot go backward into the past and change things again this is the moment that you give your life to God this has to be the moment where you decide yes I'm going to be passionate about Jesus Christ but who are you hanging out with? you know the people you hang around you will be like them eagles fuck where eagles fuck and ducks flock where ducks flock, and chickens flock where chickens flock, and, and bugs flock where bugs flock, and flies fly together. Are you flies or are you an eagle? Are you, are you flying where those flies are flying to, which is dirt? Or are you flying in the sky above with the Lord, with the Holy Spirit, looking for what is above, not what is below? What are you? Who are you? Are you an eagle or are you a fly? Does Jesus call flies? No, he calls people who are passionate, who are above, who wants to go higher with the Lord. And here, here comes my, you have to be passionate about Jesus Christ or Jesus cannot use you. Keep that in mind. And every minute, every minute is precious. Do not waste it. Do not waste the minutes that you have on earth. Don't even waste any seconds. Every second, every minute is very important. What you do in the second, what you decide to do, what you do in that moment determines a lot of different paths in your life. If you choose to go left instead of right, you waste a lot of time. You have to go to the right and go directly above and Jesus Christ is waiting for you to be passionate about Him. Pray for hours. Sacrifice your sleeping time and pray for hours. You have to start doing that. When are you gonna when are you gonna start doing? Oh, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Oh, you know, I'll start next week. You know, uh, I'm kinda busy, I'll do it next month. You'll never do it. In that in that kind of men mentality, you'll never do it. You have to do it right now. Every time you think of it, you have to do it that moment. Because that's what Jesus wants, and Jesus wants strong. Jesus says in the Bible, only the strong will glorify the Lord. It's in Isaiah. Uh, <clears throat> only the strong will glorify the Lord. Jesus is looking for people who are strong and courageous. You have to be strong and courageous and be crazy for Jesus Christ. If you're not crazy and people don't say, people, if they don't tell, tell you, oh, you're so crazy about Jesus. Oh, you're crazy about Jesus. If you don't hear that, then you're not doing as much as what Jesus wants because those who love people more, those who love their son, sons, brothers, parents, mothers, more than Jesus Christ is not worthy. And those who grab onto the plow and look back are not worthy of the kingdom of God. You have to be sold out for Jesus Christ. Many people told me I was crazy. Oh, this guy is crazy. Oh, my parents told me I was crazy. My friends, you know, I dropped all my friends because those are not the flock that I, that I want to be in. If you read Proverbs, 27 verse 17 it says as iron sharpens iron a f <clears throat> so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend what kind of friends do you have today are they do they have stronger faith than you or do they have weaker faith than you because your friends will make your face shine or whether they'll make it shine or not shine because as iron sharpens iron only the strong people who are in the Lord can make you strong. So who are you hanging out today? If you cannot find somebody who's stronger to, than, than you, don't hang around with them because you will give in to their ways and you will lose and you will, your face will not shine for Jesus Christ. It will not shine for Jesus Christ. They'll be telling you, oh, don't do that. Oh, that's too extreme. Oh, don't, oh, don't be too extreme. Oh, you know, you don't have to pray all night. Oh, you know, Jesus already knows you. Oh, Jesus, you know, you don't have to read Bible every day. 
You know, this is just too much. This is just religious. Oh, Pharisees did that so much. You know, you don't have to do all those things. Oh, you know, and you will follow their ways. And that's destruction. That's just like flies. What path are you going to choose? What path are you choosing today? Be passionate. Have a role model in your life who is stronger than you in faith and go after his ways and go after Jesus because Jesus has to be your friend. And Jesus, if you see Jesus, Jesus prayed very hard every day. And there were times when Jesus pray, was praying so hard that his, that his sweat even turned to blood before he was, he was, he was crying out for God to have mercy and his, his sweat as blood, was as blood. His blood really dropped out because he was so so in agony and he's praying so hard that his, you know the, he, you, you, you know how much passion he has. Paul he said he was even bold to say that I pray in tongues more than you all. How can anyone claim that they pray in tongues more than everybody without knowing them? Because he was so sure that he prayed so much in tongues that that he know that he prayed more than anybody else. And because of this passion for Jesus Christ that he had and that the, the, the works that he was doing was so much for God that he wrote most of the New, New, New Testament after Jesus Christ. He, he wrote most of the New Testament. Now are you this person? Paul was even taken to heaven to see the heaven. John was taken to see heaven and all the revelations that he wrote. He was, he was taken to see the future and he was taken to see the king. King himself showed, to, showed himself to him. He was talk, they were talking to angels of God. And what are you doing today? Do you even talk to angels today? Do you, even, do you even know that they're around? Do you even see anything? What's wrong with this? Where is the, the Bible today? The Bible has to be real today. If you seek God with all your heart, you will see God. And God will come to you. God will show himself to you. And this is written, this is, the, this is promises written in John. That, that the Father and the Son will abide with you. Well, where, where, where are the marks of a Christian? Uh, where are the marks of casting out demons and praying in tongues? Oh, people say, oh, well, uh, you, don't need, you don't have to pray in tongues. It's, it's not for everybody. It is for those who seek God with the passion and passionately ask for God those, these gifts. These are given to those who, who are really seeking the Lord. It's not, yeah, it's not given for everybody because not everybody is passionate. Passionate. Those who are passionate, these are things that are given because they ask for it. And because they are passionate for the kingdom of God and the things of the Holy Spirit, that they want so much of the Holy Spirit, they want everything that He has for you. That's why this is not for everybody. This is for those people who are really passionate about what they're doing. And these people, who, these, these, these are for the people who are victorious in their life. Because these people are the people who, who, who if they, once they do it, they go for it until the end. And until they, until, they, until they accomplish something, these, these people are the one who can really serve the Lord. It does not matter what they have done in their past. They could be great sinners. They could be great adulterers. They could be everything. But, they, but these people, they have one thing. They, what they, whatever they are passionate about, they are successful in it. And these people are qualified to serve God if they give up all those things and follow after God. There's a young rich ruler that came to Jesus saying that I have kept all these things. And Jesus says, well then throw all your riches away and follow me. Jesus was giving him the highest position to be an apostle, to be a follower, true follower of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus knew that this man was successful in his life. And this man kept these things because he was a strict man. He was disciplined. But then he could not throw away the riches and the glory of the world for the kingdom of God. Are you this kind of person? You cannot throw away the, the things that you love because, because you love them so much more than the kingdom of God then you cannot be a disciple, a true apostle, a true person of God. You cannot glorify because your heart is not for God. Your heart has to be totally crazy for Jesus Christ. Every day, everywhere you go, you, your mouth has to speak the word Jesus Christ unto the people because there, the time is short. And, and those who follow will follow, and those who don't follow or give up will be give up and losers in the life. And, and their, their position, they can go to heaven. I'm not saying that they, they're not going to go to heaven.
but their position will be determined by how much passion you have for Jesus Christ on earth. Your position will be determined by how much love you have for Jesus Christ on earth. And this will determine for your eternity life, eternal life. What more can I say to you? Follow after Jesus Christ. And those who are really serious, go on Facebook and look for Army of Jesus. This is a site where I'm creating to raise up an army of Jesus Christ. And if you're really for passion, for if you're not even, if you don't have the, the will to give up your life and to be, to be passionate about Jesus Christ, then that's not for you. This is special training for people who really want to serve the Lord with all their heart, all their strength, and all their mind, and all they got. Everything. They want to be submitting to the Lord with all humility by giving their self, taking up their cross every day to follow after Jesus. You have to pick, your, pick up your cross, hang yourself on the cross, and follow after Jesus Christ. Because it's, it's no longer you who live, but the servants of Jesus Christ. It's no longer you who live, but it's the, the Lord who is within you has to live. You, you're, you have a seat in you. you, you, you but, but if you're sitting down, Jesus cannot sit on the seat, on the throne inside you. Jesus has to be the author and the finisher of your life in your temple of God. Your body is a temple. But if you're sitting on in, in the temple, then you're the demon. You're the devil who wants to be more than Jesus Christ. If you want to rule your life the way that you want to live your life, then you're a devil. Because because the devil did not want to serve serve God. He wanted to be like God. He wanted to be like God. See? He wanted to be like God. Do you want to be God of your life? today, then Jesus cannot sit on your seat. You have to get off the seat, crucify yourself on the cross, and let Jesus sit in the seat of your heart. So wherever Jesus leads you, you go. Wherever, wherever He tells you, whatever He tells you to do, whatever He was doing in the Bible, you go out and do it. But that is a true follower of Jesus Christ. Where is your passion today? Oh, oh I'm too old? Arm too. Moses was 80, 80 years old. Are you 80 years old? Moses was 80 years old and he was doing the work of God until 120 when he died. If you look for Jesus Christ, whether you're old or young, God will give you a new strength. Whether you're a sick person or a dying person, if you give your life to Jesus Christ with all your heart and seek Him every day, then God will give you a new life. God will heal your body. God will do everything for you get you out of those problems because you are willing to serve Jesus Christ. Whether you're in a deathbed, whether you're sick and dying, don't matter. If you give yourself totally for Jesus Christ, God will heal your body because He won't, He'll want to use you because He'll see that passion in you for Jesus Christ and that he'll, he'll notice that you really truly want to do the work of God and that you're willing to give up everything, everything on the way. Friends, family, whatever. You have to lose all those things. I gave up all those things. My friends, I had like hundreds of friends. I don't, do I have any of them now? No. No. I stopped. I, I decided not to hang around those those flock, flock. Because if you have a charcoal on your hand, your hands are going to be dirty. Your hands are going to be dirty. If you hang around them long enough, your hands will be dirty. If you do not have a cleansing power of the Holy Spirit every day, in your life, praying, washing yourself with the blood of Jesus every day, you'll be dirty. When you go out and minister to people, and when you come back, you have to pray, wash yourself, because I don't know what they have. They might have some spirits that got on you, and if you do not wash yourself, you'll be sick like them, you'll be doing the things like them. They're, they, Everything has an influence. What you watch in your eye, what you hear in your ears have influence over your mind. You have to close your ears, cover your eyes to those things that are not worthy. But to those who are worthy, you go after and you be strong and, and say, I cannot do this. Get out, get out, run out from that place. Get out from that place. Get up out of your room and run after Jesus Christ. And I'll give you those special instructions on how to do these things in a disciplined way because 
is the kingdom of God, we need discipline. Our army has to have a discipline. If you look at the earthly army, the, the United States Army, they have a strict discipline on how they do things, how they train, how they do run a boot camp, how they have everything. If you want to run an army of Jesus Christ, if you want to be an army of Jesus, then you have to have a disciplined life for Jesus Christ. So God bless you and start being disciplined for God. And if you want to follow God, then read those things. And uh, Facebook, if you look up Army of Jesus, you'll be able to find it. And I have not written written down much things that, but there are basic stuff that you must do every day in order to stay strong, in order to be an army of God, used by God, turning the glory to God. You got to get strong first. So let's get yourself strong. Amen. God bless you.